Hey guys, it's me, Verilyn, and OMG is 12.13 on Monday, and I guess officially I have missed a day. <laughs> um, Sunday, which is yesterday officially, but I'm going to consider it today, um, was definitely one of those days. I actually it started out really good. I woke up and um, had my smoothie, my, my green juicy thing that I make. And then um, I made plans for my sister was coming over to Brooklyn, Bronx girl coming to Brooklyn. Um, so that was definitely an event. We had a great day um, having, we had lunch and then um, I took her to some places around me that like I have something on that she likes as far as like clothes. And so she wanted to check out some of the stores I've been um, going to here in Brooklyn. And so, yeah, so today was just like one of those days. I had to pay rent today um, and then came home and was just doing some cleaning. And now it is 1214 and I'm finally settling in. I've literally taken ooh, taken the cork off the wine and I'm just going to have like one of the mellow nights tonight. Um, I've been trying not to drink as much wine because wine has a lot of calories, actually. Um, so I don't drink as much wine as I used to. But tonight I will be. Um, I'm going to continue watching The Good Wife. Um, this series. I'm going to stop saying um so much. One thing about doing these video blogs is that I've learned that I say like a lot and I say um a lot. And as a media professional, that's something I definitely have to stop doing. Uh, yeah, and I think that also comes from me like doing these things and wanting it to be sort of spontaneous and not having doing the prep work that I usually do whenever I do something um, for as there it goes again whenever I do something when it comes to the media or putting up a video blog or putting out anything that I reported on I'm usually a lot more prepared than I am when I do these things and it's pretty vulnerable to sit here like right now uh, I realized I didn't do any of these things and like I didn't have time to put on makeup or get my lighting right and it's definitely been <laughs> in my wig, like I'm fixing my wig because, you know, I definitely just put it on right before I decided to do this because I washed my hair today and like I was kind of letting it air dry. And, you know, I have my Shea Moisture here that I keep putting in uh, in case I want some more moisture and then I'm going to braid it up. So that's my, that's going to be the rest of my life in between sips of wine and watching The Good Wife. I guess I don't have much to say today. I, I guess if I have to say anything... I'm always struggling to see how much of my... Ugh, I feel like I'm Beyonce right now. But I do. I kind of always... I don't know how much of myself I ever want to put out there in general. Even though I know I'm I'm pretty much an open book. Like, uh, even on Facebook, I don't really have that many controls like I used to. Everything I put out there is pretty much friends of friends. So, I'm not... I'm pretty much an open book. And I think that the reason I've decided to do that... It's because with my video blog, I'm constantly asking people to put themselves out there. And there's nothing that I will ask of someone that I wouldn't reveal for myself as well. You know, I'm, I think I'm pretty much, I keep saying open book, but I think that's the best way to describe me. So doing these things has definitely been another test of open bookness, right? As far as me being vulnerable enough to talk about what I'm doing within the day. Uh... So I have stuff that went on today, but I won't necessarily. I, and also I'm very private for other people. Like I definitely try to respect other people's boundaries. So that's kind of like the balance that I always feel. Like how much of myself do I put out there? But then I don't want to put so much out there that I'm not respecting the boundaries of other people in my life. So I'm sure that anything that I say today would definitely do that. So I won't. I will say though is how like in the age of Facebook and in the age of you know YouTube and in the age of Twitter where everyone thinks that their thoughts are so special <laughs> including me how do we kind of keep our privacy is privacy as important I know for me and some of my ex you know some of my ex-boyfriends I always say that because I try to again protecting their privacy right but really just one ex-boyfriend and he was cool with what I was doing but he never really he did he wasn't cool with me like writing about him it wasn't until things started going south that I started writing about him because I'm like boo bump you anyone that follows my blog knows that um during my dating time I had this thing called Pima 
where I would write about things that was going on with people that I was dating. And when I got with him, Pima kind of stopped because I was like, you know, I didn't want to put jeopardize our relationship. So that's something that and then when things started going south, I started writing Pima again. But now it's also kind of like I'm at this place where I'm more at peace and I don't feel the need to even write a Pima. Like Pima came out of a place of me feeling frustrated with the dating world and me like encountering the craziest things and feeling like, yo, know, this can't just be me. And some of the stuff that would happen to me is like, is this real? <laughs> like this is like a movie. And so I also wanted to collect stories of other women and I got a few. So not everything in Pima is me, although most people don't believe that it's true. Not all Pimas are me. So I think I'm going to start Pima up again. I don't know. You should go check that out. Anyway, I don't have much to say today. I guess that's just my question of the day is just, you know, would you ever do something like this? Like even my friend Inga was just talking about how like she doesn't know if she could ever do this right and my friend alexis who actually was on this both inga and alexis have it on this blog she actually got inspired to do her own thing and i actually i know she's kind of slipped up and not doing it every day but i know she wants to change that so you know i'm really what i'm doing right now even though it's just me talking i know it's not as easy and it's even not easy for me so i guess my question today is you know just how how much of ourselves are we comfortable putting out there? What are the limits? What are the boundaries? And how do you kind of manage that? And I guess my audience is YouTube and Facebook, so that's going to be kind of interesting to see what people cut back. Don't mind my craziness of the day. I promise tomorrow I'll have something very thoughtful to say. Um, yeah, so let me know. Peace out. <laughs>